Something big is going to happen in Florida next week. We just don't know what yet. The Supreme Court is going to examine multiple marriage cases in early January, and new polling shows support for marriage equality higher than ever. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for December 29, 2014. A federal judge says that Florida's marriage ban is unconstitutional, but the state's clerks say that they're going to go ahead and enforce it anyway. The Supreme Court says that marriages can go ahead and start, but a law firm for the clerk says that if they issue the licenses, they could be arrested. Meanwhile, civil rights groups say that if they don't issue the licenses, they could be held in contempt of court. So it's all very confusing. What we do know for sure is that marriage is supposed to start on January 6th in Florida. There are 67 clerks in the state, and as of last week, 46 said that they don't plan to issue licenses, 6 say that they don't know what they're going to do, and 13 haven't given an answer one way or the other. Only one county will have to issue licenses. That's Washington County, the only one that's named in the lawsuit. And one other county, Osceola County, plans to issue marriage licenses as of midnight on the 6th. Meanwhile, the federal judge who ruled that the marriage ban is unconstitutional back in August has ordered state officials to explain exactly what they plan to do next week. His ruling was very clear that the order to lift the ban applies to pretty much everyone, and other federal courts have indicated that they don't expect to reverse that ruling, so it's a little frustrating that the clerks are continuing to stall on issuing licenses with just a few days left to go before marriages are supposed to start. You have one week left to figure this out, Florida. Get it together. Meanwhile, on Friday of next week, the U.S. Supreme Court is going to meet to decide whether to take a marriage case from the Sixth Circuit. That's a big deal because the Sixth Circuit is the only one to have upheld a marriage ban. Because that ruling conflicts with rulings in other circuits, the Supreme Court justices are more likely to want to take one or more of those Sixth Circuit cases. We won't know their decision right away, but we could find out the week after. If they take one or more cases, we can expect oral argument in the spring, and then a ruling by this summer, probably. In other news, Arkansas Attorney General Dustin McDaniel will appeal a federal ruling that his state's marriage ban is unconstitutional. He will almost certainly lose and waste tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Idaho Governor Butch Otter dragged out a similar lawsuit, and last week a judge ruled that Idaho now has to reimburse attorneys for nearly half a million dollars in legal costs. Those costs could have been avoided by just letting the couples get married, which is what wound up happening anyway $400,000 later. Congratulations to the three plaintiff couples in Utah whose lawsuit brought marriage equality to the state earlier this year. Last week, the Salt Lake Tribune named them the Utahns of the Year. And finally, a new poll in Pennsylvania shows support for marriage equality jumped to 62% after couples there were allowed to start marrying. Those are the headlines. We're going to have big news in Florida next week, so subscribe here for more on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.